Hey there, Sagittarians. All right, so 2022 year review. I've got it sectioned up quarterly here, but I do like to keep it for you to keep in mind, you know, usually it all blends together and it ties in together. So it's not actually like this section is not precisely going to be happening in April, May, and June. You know, this could be here, 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 anywhere, okay? is for entertainment purposes only and it is a general read so um i thought i'd go ahead and pull my final cards because i pulled off camera for each quarter section of the year so can we get oh i guess because that's going to go for july august september how about the first part the first part of 2022 for sagittarius but i wanted to give you show you how i get the cards if i don't get them this way then I just reach in like this and pull them out that way. <clears throat> For those of you who are new to my channel. And there we go. So let's get this started. Turn that back up there. So beginning of 2022, we have house. So you could be purchasing a new home, moving into a new home. And also, working from home came to mind, place of employment. <laughs> or maybe you're going to be working at a, a large house, or maybe it was an old house. Wishes come true. Rapid achievement of your dreams and wishes. I like that for you. It's not focusing, but we're not going to focus on that too much, right? Wishes coming true. So, manifestations coming in from 2021 and you know the other day I was just realizing like really they're not really manifestations it was destined for us to want these manifestations and it's just a matter of divine timing and that's how the divine timing all works together it's like oh, I just can't believe I'm just not realizing this like the universe knew what we were going to try to be getting before we even came to earth but anyways that's besides the point okay magnificence some self acceptance and self care there own your magnificence the world needs your brilliance and grace <clears throat> a lot of change for people in 2022 a lot of change for the better always to serve your highest good new beginnings exactly change and new beginnings endings maybe you are going to your family is going to expand something in the family is going to change someone for you know a distant relative might move in or somebody you might decide to foster kids okay they want me to read the book meaning to this and we will have the book meaning on each section as well a special life-changing event is on its way. It's heaven sent and brought by angels. Are you ready to have a child, move to a new home, or make a fresh start? Take a leap of faith and know that it's part of your life purpose. There is no need to worry as you will be able to manage this new chapter with love, grace, and ease. Your life is changing for the better and everything that happens is for your greater good. Affirmation for that is, I am grateful for the wonderful changes in my life. I'm loving that for y'all forgiveness this is forgiveness of one's self I feel you're really not holding yourself accountable releasing that guilt that you had previously guilt and grief on matters okay I'm being advised to get one of these clarity cards for that card as well for somebody in particular so Learn to say no to friends and keep up with the preparation. Each step gets you closer to the goal. And also it says wishes coming true, rapid achievement of your dreams and wishes. And it mentioned something in the book meaning on this one, right? But then also here, maybe you're learning to say no, not just no to friends, but people in general. Could be the friends learning to say no to you as well. <laughs> I'm just saying. Just putting that out there. Let's go on to the next. We have old woman. Okay. Um, 
Capricorn got this one too, but what came to mind for Capricorn was uh, like assisted living facility. Um, but that's not what I'm picking up for you. I'm not really sure what the hell I'm picking up on that card. Maybe you have picked something up, okay? We'll just keep going here. Listening to divine wisdom and joyfully learning life's lessons. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like a, a queen of pentacles kind of vibe or something that some, there's going to be an older or an elder that will be giving you some sage and wise advice. Wise beyond her years is what's coming to mind. I don't know. I've got the triple spiral here and I'm also being drawn that I have a deck of tarot cards that have this symbol on them so maybe you're wanting to you're delving more into the metaphysical or spiritual things you know getting oracle or trying to read tarot or venturing further into it <clears throat> or oh okay maybe <laughs> maybe you're gonna be giving some wise sage advice to people also dance the swan is popping out to me there step into the light share your gifts and talents with the world exactly so uh counselor oh yeah wow hello somebody just came to mind you know who you are <laughs> but uh sharing your talents and brilliance with the world life path and i'm actually getting drawn to pull a life path card for you <clears throat> Gosh dang. I love this incense, but I don't love it when it goes right in my face, you know? It makes me, uh... Fucks with my throat. Makes it real dry and scratchy. Alright, life purpose card for this area right here. For Sagittarius 2022, Angel Spirits and Guides. You conduct healing work with your culinary skills. Nutrition. Consider the career possibilities that will be open to you. There we go. This one flew out though. I like that. Flowers. Working with flowers opens your heart and brings blessings to others through your life purpose. So, I feel like this is the card that was supposed to come out. I was being a little impatient. Waiting for the card to flip out while I was shuffling so I just reached in and pulled one out but um yeah helping others through your life purpose and it could be you know maybe you're going to be a florist or a culinary artist I'm going to put that right there <clears throat> let's get this next card the bridge yeah bridging the gap between individuals comes to mind number 31 or the number 4 Crossing a bridge, though, a mental and physical, or a mental and emotional bridge. Thirty-one. Life is not about winning or losing, it's about how we play the game. Keep moving forward without allowing past traumas to get in your way. In relationships, it's best to compromise and agree to disagree while respecting each other's opinions. This will help you build bridges and close the gaps that separate you from all that your life can be. It's natural to feel apprehensive crossing or building bridges. Let love, faith, and hope guide your way. And the affirmation is, I can see things differently. I am filled with faith, hope, and love. So, see, it's okay. Alright, guys. Help me out here. Knowing that it's okay to see things from a different perspective and that it's okay to agree to disagree and that not everybody has the same way and perception on things that you do. We all have different ways of seeing things and we all have ways um, differently how we take things as well. Remember the forgiveness card over here. Prosperity, see? A lot of abundance and prosperity for you. And good luck. Good luck and fortune. And then it's we've got wishes coming true. So I like that for you. Hmm. Alright, we've got priest. 
also some sort of ceremony could be a wedding could be uh, the blessing like what is that whenever what you do to babies when you put the water on them baptizing or whatever comes to mind work with the element of air to cut through to the core of a situation and see the truth And then we have autumn, number 36 or number 9. Situation calling to have faith, though, that all will be well. Autumn leaves are falling and everything looks amazing. Bring in the harvest and stock up while everything is still flowing in your favor. The universe has provided you with a beautiful bounty ripe for the picking. Okay, hold on. I think this part's the part they're talking about. Don't walk away from a winning situation because you're bored or just tired of it. Spirit does not want you to lose your momentum. You can consider looking into different options in the winter and put new plans into action in the spring. Give thanks to your spirit for your harvest abundance, your abundant harvest. I am grateful for my bountiful harvest. So there could be something you get a little bored with or you kind of lose interest, but spirit is saying don't lose momentum and what was that uh could be something to do with the life purpose or career change trust trust your decisions march to the beat of your own heart i need a clarity card for the priest card though can we get one please Stand your ground, but don't confuse being forceful with yelling. Focus on the good things rather than the bad. So, for some of you, you might have seen the priest and immediately thought, a funeral? So, I feel like that is just telling, like, I was supposed to pull this card to have you say, to let you know oh my gosh guys i'm so sorry i'm just so fucking discombobulated and scattered guys i only need one trying to give me the messages i clarified this before we started the read focusing on the good and not the bad so if funeral came to mind you need to flip that shit around okay because there's a lot of happiness a lot of prosperity for you in 2022 it's gonna be a good year don't get me wrong there's gonna be fucking hurdles there's gonna be fucking bumps in the road all right but it's nothing that you can't overcome if you make it if you make it out to be worse than what it really is then it's gonna be worse than what it really is right <clears throat> malady yeah you could worry yourself sick okay because we all know that um shit happens right from physical aspects when we stress and worry too much can make us physically ill but also as i was speaking i heard recovery from an illness so you or you know somebody close to you could you know fall ill but spirit wants you to know that they will have recovery respectfully work with the fairies and elementals to achieve your goals fairy magic so delving into working with other beings in your spiritual abilities and you have the spring card so you had autumn and spring and we've got 34 or number seven <sighs> it's the perfect time to spring into action clear the clutter and welcome in new energy donate sell or give away items you no longer need or use and life will flow more easily Cultivate fertile land, plant new seeds, and watch them thrive. If you've been waiting for a breakthrough, good opportunities will find you now. Live your life today as everything is moving in your favor. Love, joy, and success are in the air, so go for it. Affirmation is, I am making positive changes in my home and the world. Also, I'm, I'm glancing over here and hearing that you will see the magnificence in the new beginning as you 
give forgiveness. Like there's something here and you could be working on it right now in 2021, but there's something, there's still a healing cycle, a shedding cycle that is being done. Getting out into nature. I know it's cold, it's the cold time, but we've had unusually warm temperatures as well. Getting out into nature and still getting grounded. Okay. Moving on. Silence. The kitty cat. My cat was peeking at me while I go just like this through the door. Rest your mind. Silence is good self care. So, focusing on the good things rather than the bad because you might, oh, manifestations or, you know, power of thought is going to come back to you very quickly. It's going to be. So being mindful of 2022, that's what you're going to be doing. You're going to learn to flip those around or it's going to be like you're not going to have a constant dread of the future and you're not going to be harping on the past either. Mind over matter. But leading more from your heart center as well. Exactly. There's going to be a sense of freedom in it. There's going to be freedom. You're uncaging those, you know, uncaging the good. Uncaging the good. And also silence in silence, peace prevails. So maybe doing like realizing how much help that clearing a chakra or doing a five minute mindful meditation would be. Because this whole 2021 has been, uh, I've been really pushing that for people because it is, it is suggested by spirit, not because it just helped me, but because they're like, yes, mention this, you know what I mean? So clearing the chakras will help, uh, heal and release quicker too. And the positive affirmations and everything. I just glanced down and there's a little leprechaun here. So somebody might have something about leprechauns might be significant. I hope you don't have a fear of them, okay? All right, so we're seeing what you're surrendering to in 2022. Two cards came out for you. Oh, all right, Sagittarius. If you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself. Surrendering stubbornness. I can uh, relate being a fellow fire sign and surrendering procrastination. Now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off. Taking action will attract success. This card next. You owe someone a letter, write it at once. So here is the forgiveness and what came to mind was a letter of apology. So maybe it's a letter of apology to yourself you need to do. But anyways, maybe it's another person. Successful in big things if undertaken. You will be very successful. And remember how it says keep up with the preparation. Each step brings you closer to your goal. And I, at the beginning of it, I mentioned about, you know, there's going to be hurdles. There's going to be roadblocks. But it's nothing you can't overcome. So don't get deterred, okay? It's something, you know, those life lessons and soul growth. Man, my nose is really congesting up. So keep going forward because you will have success and luck and prosperity and happiness if you keep pushing towards maybe it's financial freedom you're wanting to push towards sickness is surrounding you but will turn out for the best and look we had the malady card over here as well but i said there was recovery right and this is just validating that it was crazy right forgive someone now and don't trust again forgive someone now so forgiveness is needed let me oh camera sorry guys I see the lucky number is 677 on there too and uh, it's coming back around to you owe someone a letter write it at once forgive someone now and don't trust again so it could be people from your past that you don't really interact with anyways or you know they've left your circle 
So giving that forgiveness, but you don't have to give them the benefit of out of the doubt again. It doesn't mean by forgiving them that they're going to come back and you're going to have to trust them again. It's just forgiving them and moving on and letting go, right? Oh, wow. Look, I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. So knowing and realizing that our thoughts create our reality, they in fact really, really do create our own reality. And everything that happens to us is what we've brought on to ourselves, good or bad. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. And look, you've got freedom twice here, Sagittarius. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then there's another card here, adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Exactly what I was talking about earlier, roadblocks and detours and potholes. It's some, you know, it's that chance to learn from it and figure it out and begin again and start again because we've got new beginnings it's always a new day if you make it that way it's going to be a good day if you project it to be that way is there anything else for Sagittarius no this is all I have for you for your 2022 year review Sagittarians so also if you haven't already please like and subscribe to the channel it is greatly appreciated and it helps Obviously, it helps my channel grow, and it helps me to come up in searches about stuff. So I would appreciate that. Until next time, my dears, love and light.